Dr. Ojikalu Won Ude Udeogu and Slok Nigeria Limited were arraigned before the court in October 2016 on a 34-count charge of alleged 3.2 billion naira fraud. They pleaded not guilty to the charges. In proof of its case, the EFCC called its first prosecution witness, one Onova Ogenevo, a bank official. The defense team quickly objected to the calling of the witness on the basis that his statement was not part of the proof of evidence given to the team by the prosecution and to allow him to testify would amount to an ambush. These formed the basis for an adjournment from Monday the 6th of March to Tuesday the 7th. At the resumed hearing of the case, Justice Mohamed Idris ruled on the eligibility of the witness to testify. The court agreed with the EFCC that the witness, having been subpoenaed, should be allowed to testify in the matter, irrespective of whether his statement was available or not. The proceedings got off to a start and soon ran into another hitch. Attempts by the prosecution to tender a document from the defunct Money Bank PLC in response to an inquiry from the EFCC in respect of 27 bank drafts issued by the bank was rejected by the defendants. The defendants had objections to the admissibility of the documents, insisting that its certification by the EFCC was erroneous. We objected to this, that it is not legally tenable that in law a person who neither made a document nor is in custody of the document will now suddenly come and be the certifier of the document. Though the defense team has asked the court to reject the documents, the EFCC insists that the certification is in substantial compliance with Section 104 of the Evidence Act. That the letter that was written to EFCC cannot be certified by EFCC. Even if EFCC cannot certify it, who else will certify it? Justice Idris has fixed ruling on the contentious issue till the 8th of March. Shalashi Eli, Channels Television News.